so today we are going to discuss about uh, the next topic that is a uh, uh, multiple inheritance uh, in interfaces already in the last video we have discussed about uh, multiple inheritance using interfaces uh, and today also we are going to discuss about multiple inheritance using interfaces uh, but uh, I, I say that uh, it is a, a bit of a hybrid multiple programs let me say this something like this hybrid uh, <coughs> multiple inheritance so what is this hybrid multiple inheritance it's simple generally in the <coughs> last video we had seen uh, implementing uh, multiple interfaces in a subclass and that is a kind of inheritance no doubt about that but uh, apart from that uh, we have different other approaches to implement multiple inheritance what is that uh, let me explain this how to go with this we can implement multiple inheritance not only using only interfaces also there is one small approach for us one small alternative where we can modify this multiple inheritance what is that you can implement multiple inheritance uh, using the <coughs> excuse me a class and uh, and interfaces okay let me show you that very clearly in paint let me explain this in the paint here so that it's better to understand it. now you see there are different ways of implementing multiple inheritance i'll show you all the principles first one implementing multiple inheritance using the interfaces maybe assume that this is one interface i1 this is another interface i2 maybe you can take uh, so many interfaces like this you can say you can put uh, some dot 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 okay but it means it, it means and so on and from all these interfaces uh, we can uh, inherit uh, i mean we can implement all this uh, with a, a subclass and this is one kind of multiple inheritance you can say this as something like you know, x okay maybe it's your choice if, if it is x x otherwise anything else any name for subclass <coughs> excuse me so now this is one approach implementing uh, a subclass from all the interfaces that is one 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 of those second thing we can also implement multiple inheritance like this how like this what is that we can create multiple inheritance uh, from a class and interfaces like this what is that let me show you slowly clearly okay so now a subclass here and you know maybe you can say this as a and this is a class here actually and uh, this is a an interface this is also an interface maybe you can say i2 and so on in this way you can take any number of interfaces but if you observe carefully we can understand only one thing what is that done? here number of classes if you see the number of classes we can extend to a subclass is only one maximum number of classes we can extend from one class to another class is uh, how many maximum number of subclasses is just only one that's all you cannot extend more than one class to a another class but you know when you talk about interfaces you can extend uh, any number of interfaces you can see all these are interfaces we can extend any number of interfaces to a subclass using implements keyword no doubt about that maybe when i say extends don't get confused see even uh, implementing interfaces are extending class technically we call it as an inheritance only. so but <coughs> the point we have to keep in mind is number of classes we can extend from one class to other class is one but number of interfaces we can implement in a class may be multiple interfaces so from this what we can understand still we have an opportunity to extend a class and implement interfaces but the number of classes we should extend must be only one 
and the number of interfaces we can implement can be many. I think this is clear. And uh, this is nothing but what I what I call this as a hybrid multiple inheritance. You know, from the yesterday's discussion in the last video, we had discussed that what is that uh, multiple inheritance means deriving a subclass from two or more superclasses. That is what we call multiple inheritance. And we know very well about this. And of course, maybe we can just name this as a this subclass as as you like. Okay, we can say some x. Okay, you can name this as some x. No problem. But uh, I hope this is clear. This is a simple idea about hybrid multiple inheritance. Now let me show you how to create a subclass from both class as well as interfaces and how the syntax looks like this and what are the rules we have to follow here. Let us see this now. So when you talk about the syntax to implement a hybrid multiple inheritance, it will, it will be like this subclass base sir. class name one <coughs> opening base set. Let me give the form here. So, and uh, that's it. Some stuff goes inside. Don't bother about that. Take interface here. Interface uh, interface 1. Again, uh, some stuff goes here. Again, interface space. Uh, uh, interface uh, 2. Some stuff goes here. You know, generally interfaces has uh, abstract methods. We know very well about that. And we had discussed that in detail in the last couple of videos. So, and in this way, this number of interfaces can go on. So you can say, you can put a dot, dot, dot also. Now, from these two, both from class as well as from interfaces, we are going to create a, <coughs> inherit a subclass from both of these types. Now, class, subclass name, x types. If you observe carefully, I am trying to extend class first. This is the rule. When you have class and interfaces inheriting to a subclass, Always you should extend which one first? Always extend class first. Class subclass name extension. What is that? Called? Class name. So that is it. Called. Class name one. And then what is that? Called? Implements. What is that? Interface one comma interface two comma dot dot dot. And this is simple idea about what is that? Hybrid multiple inheritance. What is that? Here, if you observe carefully, we are trying to extend a class and implement interfaces together. And this approach, so maybe I, I call this as a hybrid multiple inheritance. But always keep in mind, in Java, at most we can extend only one class from the other class. So we cannot extend more than one class to another class. That's all. But we can implement any number of interfaces. Practical proof is this. And we will practically observe this with the array. <coughs> Excuse me, with the real time example, let me show you a small program to analyze this. So, here I am taking a, a new class here, new class. I name this as uh, some, okay, uh, multiple, multi test. Okay, now inside this multi test, maybe let me increase the font here. Inside this multi, multi test. Now, let us add uh, some classes and interfaces, class, class 1, just I am just declaring a simple method in this, what is that one, oi dam 1, and again inside this system dot out dot printlm, so let us add something here, this is out of, uh, I am just putting a one here. I think this is clear. Now <coughs> I am taking a interfaces here. Interface I1 opening this. Inside this, I am just declaring one abstract method in one. And similarly, I am taking one more interface I2. And in this, uh, I am declaring uh, one more abstract method. Maybe you can say it as uh, M2. Now let us come to the test class. Not a, I'm sorry. Let us take one more subclass here. 
will go to the test class at the end of this discussion. Now, take one more subclass, class. I am naming this as subclass itself. Huh? Subclass extends what is that? Huh? Class one. And then what is that? Implements huh? I one comma I two. Now, I had successfully created a subclass by extending a class as well as implementing interfaces but uh, already I had discussed number of times if we implement interface in a class then we should override all the abstract methods of interface in a subclass so your class is waiting for you what we have to do now we should uh, override uh, all these methods here so what shall I do now I have to override inherited uh, method class cannot hide the of course one, one, one simple thing here there is a little and ambiguity coming here between this uh, method of uh, I'm just making a small change to this. Uh, I'm just making it as a wide display to avoid the ambiguity between uh, the method of class and interface. Uh, I'll put your cursor here and it will show you add unimplemented methods. So now this is fine. Now add something inside this, uh, these two methods. Uh, I'll just try to write something just to understand uh, what is that. So I'm just trying to print something here. What is that? System dot out dot printer. Okay. I'm just writing the uh, something like you know, la la land. So that is first one. Similarly, with the second method, I'm trying. I'm going to write something here. So that is a. Uh, let me take this here. Uh, in the second method, I'm just writing control C and then control V. So here instead of la la land. I am just writing something inside the second method. Maybe uh, I am naming this as a uh, moonlight. What is that? Uh? Moonlight. So, in this way, I had declared two names here. Now, you know, right? This is a subclass. And we know we know we can't create objects for interfaces. Of course, if you want, we can create an object for this class because it is a concrete class. But anyhow, we know in inheritance, uh, it is always a good idea to create objects for subclasses and access the properties of its superclass through subclass object. So, what do you do right now? Put main inside this uh, test class. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, let us uh, create object for the subclass. How do you create object? For simple subclass space class one equal to what is that? Here? Subclass. Then call all the methods class one dot m one again. What is that class one dot m two again? What is that class one dot uh, display? Now I have called all the methods from both uh, the class as well as the interface methods which were overridden in the subclass. Now let's execute this code and see what's we, what is the output here. Right click, right click, run as what application Java application. Now you can see we got uh, moonlight from uh, this one and then uh, la la land from the m2 and uh, m1 from display i think this is perfect and now i hope you understood what is hybrid multiple inheritance what an idea now what is hybrid multiple inheritance nothing but uh, deriving a subclass from both a class as well as interfaces this approach is nothing but what i call hybridization of multiple inheritance that's all so this is basic analysis sir. I hope this is clear right now. and uh, this is also one of the best approach people follow in the projects because sometimes uh, we have to inherit a class from both class as well as interfaces then how do you do that uh, always we have to do by extending class first and implementing interfaces i already told that number of classes we can extend from one class to another class as well but the number of interfaces we can implement can be many i think this is clear for all of you right now. so this is basic idea about <coughs> hybrid multiple inheritance. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening to this video. We'll meet again in one more new video. Thanks for your time.